Today's experiment is about noise generated by LCD monitors and how to suppress it. This is uh, my favorite LCD monitor from the company BenQ or BENQ. It's got lots of pixels and it looks lovely, but it generates noise, radio noise. And <clears throat> this is a laptop running SDR++, receiving software and with an RTL blog. SDR version 4, that's the new one, easy to install the driver. In fact, it's already installed on this SDR++, I think, so it just works. And as an antenna, I've got this <coughs> mobile whip antenna from a handheld. And if we look at the screen on the receiver, this is going from 14 to 16 megahertz, so the 20 meter band. If I move the antenna close to the screen on the laptop, you can see it picks up noise. And if I move it away, the noise decreases. And by the time I'm six inches away, or 15 centimeters for some people, then the noise goes down quite a lot. You can also see here, if I go near the touchpad, there's some pulse noise coming from the scanning of the touchpad. But again, you only have to move a few centimeters away and the noise goes away again. So what I'm going to do now is try the favorite monitor over here. <coughs> This is the power cable to the monitor, and already you can see when I put the antenna close to the power cable, it's picking up noise just from the power cable. This is coming from the uh, Ethernet switch here, which is a, the quietest one I have compared to some of the cheap Chinese ones, and also a Raspberry Pi, which is running a software that also generates some noise. There's a new power supply in the post soon, hopefully, that will help to reduce that noise. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug in this monitor. I'll leave the antenna resting on top. There's the monitor. I'm going to try to plug in this power cable <coughs> one-handed somewhere um, under here. I don't want to pause the video because I'm too lazy to edit it. Where is the socket? <coughs> okay, it's under here and it's there. Let's plug that in. Where's the other pin at the bottom? This is the longest part of the video, plugging in the power to a monitor. There we are. Give it a good push. And you can see already the noise floor on the receiver has increased, especially around here. This is just the noise picked up from the mains power coming into the monitor, being conducted in. I haven't even switched it on yet. There's a switch on the bottom to turn on the power supply for the monitor. So let's turn that on. It's a hard switch. Click. Oh, oh, oh. Actually, no, the monitor hasn't started up. That's just the uh, the noise from the power supply. There's a peak here and one or two others popped up. Let's move the antenna away. Yeah, that's really coming from the monitor. So that's when the monitor's switched off. Nothing on the display. It's got a touch push button here. I'm going to press that whilst looking at the screen of the receiver. See what happens. Boom. Now that was the problem I noticed from this monitor. That was its test page that came up, and now it's come up with just a blank screen because there's no video input, no cable attached or something like that, no signal. It'll probably go into standby mode in a few seconds. As you can see, it's generating a lot of noise, 14 megahertz. If I move the antenna away slowly, you can see the noise is decreasing, but only very slowly. And even way up here, which is almost one meter away from the screen, the noise is still quite high level, which is not the case with the laptop where the noise disappeared after about 15 centimeters. This noise seems to radiate a long way. So I'm trying to find ways of suppressing that. It seems to come from the panel itself. Maybe it's the electronics behind it, who knows? And I can only think of one way to do this. So this is where the farm equipment comes into question. Of course, it's not normal farmyard, it's antenna farm equipment, and no animals were harmed in this experiment. So I'm just going to install my proposed solution and let's see if it works after the break. Here we are back at the SDR receiver to look for the noise. I've applied my solution to the um, monitor and I'm going to switch the power back on. You'll hear the click, see what happens. Ooh. <laughs> just as bad as it was before. The detector antenna is laying on top of the monitor just the same way as before and uh, hasn't made any difference. Interesting. So here's the proposed solution which is to use chicken wire <coughs> which I've 
wrapped around the monitor. Nasty stuff, you could cut your fingers on it. Anyway, um, that's not really working. I've also got a ground wire connected to one of the signal connectors. If I put the ground onto the chicken wire, what happens? Looking at the receiver. Okay, it reduces the noise a little bit, but not very much. Anyway, it's always good to ground a shield, a Faraday shield, so that's grounded to the monitor ground. But as you can see, the noise being picked up is the same as it was before. <clears throat> Let's try moving the antenna away. Aha! Uh -huh. I'll do that now where you can see on the screen. As I move the antenna away a few centimeters, the noise level is dropping down much faster than before. That 15 centimeters away is there. One meter away is there, and there's nothing left. So the result seems to be <clears throat> that when you're close to the monitor, the noise generated is the same as before. It's not going to work because it's gone to sleep. But when you move the antenna away, the noise falls off more quickly. And this is probably due to the um, near field and far field effect. So what it's telling me is that in the near field of the radiation from the monitor, the screen is not making much difference because the signal or the noise is coming through the holes probably, despite the very long wavelength of 20 meters. And those are probably uh, one and a bit centimeter holes in the fence. Um, so in the near field, it doesn't seem to help. But when you move away to the far field, or further away from the monitor, then the, uh, the attenuation increases very quickly from that shielding. Um, so it, it's showing that the, the monitor noise has been suppressed when you're some distance away, which my antenna is, of course. It's the normal receiving antenna is not right next to the desk where I have the receiver. So it may be that that will solve the problem of the noise I was picking up. Um, well, it was an unexpected result. I didn't see the difference between near field and far field. Of course, there's a magnetic component to the noise which will not be affected by that shield. Um, but then again, that antenna is not very sensitive to magnetic fields anyway. It's an electrical field antenna. So there's some near field, far field effect. I'm not going to try to measure it, but I wanted to demonstrate one way of suppressing EMI from a monitor. It's not ideal because you might not see some of the pixels and it looks very ugly. So do you have a better suggestion? Please let me know in the comments below <laughs> if you can come up with a better idea for suppressing noise from a monitor like this because it is a serious problem. That's why I'm using laptops at the moment, not a normal desktop computer. Um, so let me know what you think. Remember to like and subscribe and see you in the next video.